What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story and we have a tentative schedule for what to expect around the Australian Open. Now, we don't know exactly what lead-in tournaments are going to be played before the Australian Open. We know the Australian Open has got moved to February. There's a little bit of time between the players coming in January and the quarantine period and then of course the Australian Open. But we have to speculate, both the men and the women's, there's some tournaments that might actually be played and uh, that have been moved from early January into that February 1st slot. So let's go through it now. So the Australian Open has sent out a notification to players saying that in the February the 1st, possibly the ATP Cup could be played, possibly two times ATP 250s could be played, and also two times uh, WTA 500s could be played during that time. Now, Adelaide is actually an ATP 250 and a WTA tournament as well. So that tournament has been moved to Melbourne. So that looks like it's going to be confirmed as one of the slots. But then they're saying there could be another one as well. So maybe Brisbane, which is on the WTA, is a big tournament in uh, in the WTA, on the women's side of things. And it used to be a tournament on the men's as well until the ATB Cup came along. So possibly Brisbane and Adelaide could be warm-up tournaments as well as the ATP Cup as a smaller version of what we saw last year. Then, of course, February the 8th is when the Australian Open is going to be played for two weeks. But they're looking at getting a tournament on in the second week of the Australian Open on the WTA. Not the men's side, but the women's side. So the women are going to get a small tournament possibly after uh, you know the first week of the Australian Open. If they do lose in the first round or two... They can go and play a tournament. Now, there is a tournament that is played in Hobart, which is Tasmania. That tournament is on the WTA schedule and has been moved or cancelled. That could be played in the second week of the Australian Open for all those players that lose in that first week. So there you have it. Possible tournaments. Again, we haven't confirmed this. It hasn't been confirmed. It's just a tentative schedule. And the Australian Open have contacted the players and told them, hey, we're thinking about doing this. We're thinking about we might add in, you know, ATP Cup might come back, which is great because it was great last year and we thought it was going to be cancelled, but it might be moved, smaller version. I like that. And of course, the WTA, we haven't heard about any tournaments leading into the Australian Open for the women's players. So we're going to get, hopefully, some confirmation in the next couple of days of that. But what do you reckon? Do you reckon they can put all these tournaments in Australia through that couple of weeks? But it looks like we're getting the ATB Cup back and a couple of other lead-in tournaments going into the Oz Open.